Hey, hey, I totally agree with you. If there was enough rockets to send my big ass up there, I would. But like, this is. Noni. Dynamite. Dynamite. Hey, how you guys doing? My name's Hero. This is that Danny Boo. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the share button. Do whatever you want. But if you work from home, your life is in danger. <laughs> Like, why is Biden trying so hard to make me not like him? What is his business with where people do work? If the work isn't hurting anybody. My guy, Joe Biden, during the State of the Union, said it's time for people to go back into the office. Not even, don't even bother, go back, just get a job. I was born in it, molded by it. Get a job first, my guy. Let's try that one on for size. That's 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 where we should be focused. But that's not where his mind and his mentality went. He wants people to go back to the office. Federal employees. And this is and this is what we call the slow collapse of his of of the Democratic Party because to this day they can't seem to figure out what they should really be focused in on like what's really important to the republican part i mean the democratic party and let me tell you the thing that's the, at the top of our list isn't us going back to the office it's getting rid of our student loan bills maybe trying to expedite the ending of a cry of of all the war crimes and shit happening over there um maybe not endorsing police funding while we see them throw $2.9 million away because of botched raids every single month. There's so many more things that Joe Biden and his cabinet could be worried about, but they continue to prove to us on a, on a, on a constant base how ill-prepared and how unprepared they're going to be to lose every single seat in 2022. It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. And their plan sucks. So let's talk about it, right? Um, I hear voices in my head, but it's my microphone. Let's talk about these horrible plans they have. The Biden, Biden calls for a vast majority of federal employees to return to the office as COVID-19 conditions improve. Yeah, oh, man. President Joe Biden is calling for more federal employees to return to the office, saying significant progress fighting the COVID-19 pandemic has made it safer to do so. Go fuck yourself, Joe Biden. Go fuck yourself. It's time for <laughs> in his State of the Union speech on Tuesday, Biden said the federal workforce will serve as a model for more Americans to return to the office. Mind your business. I don't make four hundred thousand dollars a year, which is the, I think the, isn't that the, I think that's how much the president makes every year. I don't make that much, so I don't have to do what you do. It's time for Americans to get back to work and fill our great downtowns again. And this is an important sentence right here: the downtowns again. Because if there's anything I know, I know downtowns are overpriced. And downtowns that are full of people force people to survive in unsurvivable situations. What do I mean? Something that cost me $2 on the outskirts of the city. Gas is $3.58 on the outskirts of the city. Gas in the city is $6. There's a reason why they want us to come that because those places downtown in those bustling cities need to be sustained and the sustainability isn't there anymore because people are at home so you're not buying the overpriced cup of coffees anymore you're not buying lunch every day and yeah this sucks for those small business owners but that's what supply and demand is about this is capitalism at its best it's capitalism at its best so why are we worried about what happens to the system if the system doesn't sustain itself it means it needs to adapt but that's not and 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 what happens is it creates space in these cities and then all of a sudden we see prices drop and more people can move in and live there sustainably is a this is a th he's telling us the truth about something he wants to be kept a secret people working from home can feel safe 
to begin to return to the office. Go fuck yourself. You can't tell nobody what their safety level should be like or feel like. You can't do it. You shouldn't do it. Right? You're not it, it, you're not there for it. So for me, you can't tell me what's safe and what's not because I don't have your health care. I don't have your your safety nets. I don't have your ability to monitor and watch things. And if something bad happens to me, I can immediately take forever and a day off. Like, I don't get that luxury. I don't get that luxury. So I don't think it's fair that he has the ability to dictate this verse. Biden said um, said his administration will launch a test to treat initiative that would allow people to get tested for COVID-19 at pharmacies. This is irrelevant. You want to know a place I don't have to worry about getting tested, making letting me stay home? You're spending more money on something that doesn't even that's not even broke. It, in fact, working from home is, as a person who works from home, because I'm never going. No, after working from home just for three weeks, I was like, yeah, fuck that. I don't have to deal with Karen at the fucking uh, copy machine. I don't have to deal with uh, Tim, Brian, Gunther, Jameson. I don't have to worry about making a black coalition everywhere I go just so I can have someone to, to talk to. I don't have to spend 30 minutes driving to work every day. How about this? We make a deal. Fix public transportation, f- fix student loans, and make it affordable to buy a house downtown Chicago at about $400,000. I'll gladly go back. Huh? Oh, that's not fair for the market, so why should it be fair for me? But let's say that, you know, minus me being a brute and complaining about going back to work. Let's say, are there any facts or any stats to back this up? Well, several studies over the past few months show productivity while working remotely from home is better than working in an office setting. On average, those who work from home spend 10 minutes less a day being unproductive work one more day a week are 47% more productive. I can attest to this. I can't tell you how excited I am to finish all my work before 12 o'clock so I can just do something else with my time. Because when my boss is happy, I don't have nothing else to worry about. I finished all my assignments and all my projects and I asked him, can I take a long lunch? He said, oh, you weren't already? I completed my assignment. I had a call with the Berlin office. I woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning, finished all those paperwork, did all that conversation. I was killing it. I was on it. Yeah, and then I went to go see Batman. <laughs> Man, they prices, $5. Hey, I totally agree with you. If there was enough rockets to send my big ass up there, I would. But, like, this is – it's about innovation, right? It's about innovation. Estimated Upwork states that one in four Americans with over 26% of American workforce is expected to work remotely in 2021. This is definitely true. But the thing that you have to be kind of cognizantly aware of is there is there are some drawbacks. There is a mental drawback from this, this, this personal isolation that you're probably not accommodated or used to. As a personal hermit, I love it. I call people I want to call, and this is a big reason why I'm, a, I'm big on FaceTime because I, I got to see people. That's how I make my connections. I go to the gym. I, try, I definitely go outside, but I do get a sense of cognizant dissonance because I didn't know it snowed the other day. I walked outside, tried to go somewhere. I was like, damn, there's snow on the ground. I had a shovel, but I think when it comes to work and just work alone, the, the, the numbers are in. Working from home is way better off. As long as you have the proper equipment and ability to do it, then do it. But uh, the bosses and companies that want to do this, why why are they so hell bent on us coming back? Right? What is what what could be so diabolical out there in the universe that would make them say, "No, nah, we got to get we back." There's a few things that might be it might be up to, but I'm going to talk about the ones that they tell us right here. Right? Companies often. Prioritize real estate cost savings above employees' well-being. That doesn't work now, and it never will. So they have these multi-million-dollar offices that they have and they own, 
And these people want to see them filled. They want to see their money working for them. Because how else are they supposed to justify spending this type of money on a building, downtown Chicago, prominently located and paying all these exorbitant prices and taxes, and a lot of them aren't even paying their fair share. Uh, there, are, there are more corporate businesses down, down, downtown paying less in taxes than people in the suburbs, and that's just crazy, right? Because they're a corporation, and corporations are entities that can be ignored, uh, but they can benefit from all the goods, but don't have to worry about any bad. And of course, if a company does something bad enough, change the name, no one goes to jail. No one's held responsible. Can't prove it. But they can have all the tax cuts. It's crazy. But these bosses who barely show face in the office, I've worked at many companies, many a companies. <clears throat> The last company I worked at, I don't, I don't, I never saw the CEO in person. I worked at a hospital in downtown Milwaukee, St. Luke's. Never once did I, I've never seen the, 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 uh, CEO, not once in person, but every week he had a properly edited video to send to the, to the masses. It's ridiculous that people who don't have to worry about coming in to work at 6 a.m. are telling people when to be at work and how long they have to be there. Now I get it. You could be their boss and whatever and whatnot, but the the situation still lies on that. Number two, for offices to be effective, people have to want to work in them. And this is called led to something called the the work to steal. Work to steal. And I don't really approve of this because if you don't like your job, you should just find a job that works for you or Find a job that speaks to you because stealing company time is a form of insubordination. But then they bring up the fact about wage theft. This is something I can't really speak on because I'm a contractor. So I signed my contract in the beginning. I agreed that this lump sum of money will be paid to me if I do this. That means on Monday, if I have to do 10 hours of work and on Tuesday, I only have to do two hours of work. I get paid the same no matter what. I agreed to that. But I understand the consequences of that. But for people who are waged in salary, and they talk about wage theft like this, like you have to clock out, then wait 15 minutes to be released from works while the while the uh, manager or whoever checks your area to make sure you're done. That's wage theft. That's bullshit, honestly. It's, it's, it's mindless self-indulgence. And the last thing that I think they're not really paying attention to and what no one there is no getting back to normal there is no getting back to normal COVID-19 will be back next year it'll be called COVID-20 COVID-21 and then eventually it'll just be called COVID COVID's not going anywhere so that means there's every time there's a spike there's going to be a need for the people who are temporary remote I mean temporarily working from the office to temporarily go remote in order to guarantee that the people who are doing the job you need them to do aren't dying. This is something that we have to put into consideration. This is something that we have to be more nuanced on. I'm never going on a plane without a mask on. I'm never going into a theater without a mask on. I'm never going into a a grocery store without a mask on. The, The mask is with me now. I am the mask and the mask is me. And the thing about it is, this is normalized in in Eastern co- in cultures, and I and I love to see it. Shout out to uh, the the Eastern language. Uh, I shouldn't say Eastern language. I don't know if this is Chinese or Japanese or Mandarin, Korean maybe. I don't know what that is, but uh, shout out to that in the chat. I'm gonna translate that later. Maybe I hope you're not cursing me out. Are you cursing me out? Um. But it says COVID in the beginning, so I'm assuming you were trying to get past the thing. But anyway, um, it needs. To, there's, this is something that we need to like become super, not super like pointed about, but it's just something that's not going to go away. So we need to be nuanced about this and understand that people aren't going back to these offices. Just like there's, I just it just doesn't make sense anymore. Why would I drive 30 minutes to do something I can do from home? It just doesn't make sense. But hey, that's just my opinion on it. That's my take. Let me know what y'all think. Can I get an oh yeah? Oh yeah! And if you want to ask me something.